good morning everyone uh, good morning from Bangkok so I'm still in Bangkok so I'm leaving roughly next 30 minutes to Pattaya I'm at the bus station so and I'm just waiting for my bus probably my bus is uh, well, my, my, my, my ticket is for 12 o'clock so probably I'm gonna be at Pattaya around 2, 2.30, again depends. Um, and already I booked my hotel. I'm going to be, um, you know, I booked my hotel for three days in Pattaya. So I'm not sure if I'm going to extend it or not, but already I stayed in Bangkok for two days. So maybe I'll stay three days. Well, already I booked my hotel in Pattaya for three days. So we're gonna have a lot of video from Pattaya. So let's see how everything is going to work out. Uh, either I'll stay in Pattaya for a few more days or from Pattaya I'm going to go to either Kusamui or Kupengan or Kuta. Again, depends. Let me see like... And one thing that I want to teach you guys in Thailand. So if you're going online to buy any kind of tickets, do not do that. Because first of all, the price, the ticket prices online for the bus and ferry and stuff like that, it's just much, much more expensive. And the number two is sometimes it says there is no seats available. Today it was the same thing. I just checked and I came to the bus station and there is a lot of seats. And the price is just like roughly half. Not half, I would say roughly like give and take like 50, 60. Uh, but cheaper so that's why don't trust online booking in Thailand so just go to you know whatever station that you want to go and uh, just buy your ticket there so guys I'm just waiting for my bus so I'll show you guys the journey from Bangkok bus station all the way to Pattaya so there is a few bus stop in Pattaya but I'm gonna end up on the north one so from north one to my hotel is just like eight kilometers. So probably I'm gonna get some sort of transportation. Let's see, this is my first time in Pata Pattaya, so I don't know what it is. Either I have to get a taxi or some sort of public transit to get into my hotel. But probably I'm gonna be around three o'clock, 3.30 or four o'clock at my hotel, which is good. So I can go out and shoot my first video in Pattaya. Okay guys, uh, just... Uh, Enjoy your day for now and then I'll show you guys the bus and everything else inside the bus So I don't know This could be one of these bus and it looks like this or I don't know So I'll show you guys anyways Still waiting for my bus So if you guys want to see the bus station in Bangkok, this is it It was very close to my hotel, that's why I booked here. So it just took me roughly 10 minutes with the traffic and everything to get here. Hi guys, I just arrived to Pattaya. I just checked into my hotel. Oh, well, it's just not the perfect location. In case if I want to extend, if I want to stay here, I have to change it to better location. So I'm just going for a walk to find something to eat because I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything all day. So guys, I'm in Pattaya. There we go. Welcome to Pattaya. House for rent. So uh, let me find something to eat and probably I'm going to walk to Central. I, don't, I have no idea where I'm going right now. but. I'm gonna figure it out soon. So let me eat something guys first. So make sure I get my energy and mood back and then we take it from there. Okay guys, I'm heading to walk in the street. Walking the okay. Yes, yes. Okay, it is my first day here in Pattaya. So guys, I'm going with this gentleman. He's a, one of those bike riders I'm going to walk in the street. It is not too far, but I rather to go with the bike. I had to rest a little bit because I was exhausted. I had a lunch and now I'm heading out.
Okay guys, I'm at Walking Street. So this is the famous place in Pattaya, red light district. It is crazy here. Seriously, it is so busy. Look at this. Find the shortcut. Ah. Oh, guys, it's just crazy here. My area is so quiet. So I thought everywhere is like this, but here is just like whole different ball game. Look at this! How crazy this place is. Finally, I'm at Walking Street in Pattaya, this famous crazy place. I cannot believe it. There are so many people here.
perfect clothing store. Oh wow, look at this. So guys, this walking street is much, much, much bigger than the one in Phuket, Patang. That one is just like quarter of this one. Seriously, this one is gigantic. It is so big. It's just long. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of things here. But the one in Pattaya, sorry, in Phuket, it's just teeny tiny. It is not much. But this is all different ball game. Hello. All these go-go dancers. of Turkish kebab here definitely I'm gonna have one so I have to just research which one is the best oh man this is totally different than the one that in Phuket and the Phuket one is just teeny tiny so I know why Pattaya is really famous for sex tourism and everything else because here it's just gonna be crazy after one or two hours. Whole different ball game here, guys. I cannot believe it how much kebab here, Turkish kebab. Everywhere is a Turkish kebab. Everywhere. I'm sure these guys are Turkish too. It is like 7.20, so I guess it's too early for party, but later on probably all these places is going to be full. Street and the one that in Phuket is just day and night. This one is really, really big. Okay, let's see what they're going to do here. Oh man, some seafood is frying here. I mean, grilling. <laughs> Here. So I don't know if this is a legit club or one of those, you know, 
go go downstairs or whatever. Look again here. There is a lot of it. There's a lot of bars here guys. It's just unbelievable. Everywhere is a bar. Guess what? There is even McDonald's here. Let's see the seafood. Wow, look, at, look at the size of these lobsters. It's gigantic. Obviously McDonald's. In these kind of places, you gotta have a McDonald's. Everywhere is a bar, man. It's just crazy. But most of them are empty. That's too many pineapples. Uh, it's okay, don't worry, thank you. Thanks. Okay, well, I thought there is watermelon too. He wants to sell me three pineapples for 50 baht, but that's too much pineapple. So, I gotta have some fruits, but let's go to another place. Look at the mangoes, this is a very good price. Like three of them for 60, that's really reasonable. So it seems to me we are in the end of walking street. Very good food, sir. Very good food, already I have food. Thank you. Tomorrow, okay? Good, okay. So very good food here, according to her. So the walking street is done, finished. But it is really long. No, it still is going. But there is not much light. Oh man, this is a hotel. So I'm wondering how these people are sleeping at night here. Seriously. Like, I want to stay here even for free. You know, probably after one or two hours here, these streets, like back street is crazy. So look at a lot of the amount of people, a lot of Chinese, a lot of Chinese because of the new year. Because local people that don't come in here to walk. Oh, there's another nice hotel here, but again, I'm wondering like how these people are staying in this busy area. This actually it's a very nice hotel. I just made a lot of really, really, really busy area. I have no idea what is the name of it, but the balcony, like you have a view of this walking street, but with all these noises. 
so I don't know where I'm going but probably this is the end of walking street I think let's see open daily what is this oh there is some sort of stuff going on there look at the lights oh man there's a lot of activities here that I need to know so if, if I see guys if I see there's a lot of places that I can film I'm gonna stay a few more days because obviously today is just one day is gone so I have two more days so after two more days if I see like there is more places to fall definitely I'll stay look at the sign of Pattaya right there that's really nice man I really really like it that's impressive I really like walking street here oh. so this is the walkway next to water goes somewhere there are a lot of people walking that way but I don't know what it is I just I want to show you guys this beautiful sign of Pattaya and then I'm gonna walk that way I want to find out what it is because a lot of people walking that way so I want to find out what it is that people walking that way so this is a beautiful sign of Pattaya oh there is a gigantic 7-eleven there is another hotel here okay this is the road that I'm saying I see a lot of people walking this way and there's a lot of lights down there guys let's figure it out so I'm really excited man I'm very impressed with Pattaya so far there's just lots to do it is not boring I guess that's why a lot of people are coming here because to be honest in Bangkok the only good things in Bangkok is just like for shopping I'm not sure about shopping here but I don't know what is the name of this beach I have to figure it out I hope there's a sign or something I don't know what is the name of this beach hello do you know what is the name of this beach huh? do you know what is the name of this beach Oh, yeah. this is the Pattaya Beach? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So this is a Pattaya Beach. I guess that's the busiest one. Okay, so there's a lot of tour here. You see these flags that people are following? A red one, yellow one, whatever, purple one. This is all people coming with the tour. And then obviously coming here and... Okay, let me show you guys the... Pattaya sign again, but mostly Chinese. It's just like everyone here is Chinese. No, I'm not Chinese. Okay, you're not. Okay, good to know. Some idiot. <laughs> Guy says I'm not Chinese, so what are you? <laughs> so I guess they don't like even call themselves a Chinese. Oh, there's a lot of people walking here. So I have no idea what is here. Like, what is the purpose of people walking around here? But they see a lot of people again. Again, maybe some people are gonna get upset, but there's a lot of Chinese people here. Again. Now, you see, guys, there's a lot of lights going on down there. If you know, please leave it in my in the comment. So hopefully I can go and see it one day. So far I see like there is a lot of places that you can film here. 
So what I'm gonna do, if he's that's the case, I'm gonna stay one or two more extra days. So this is based on the information that I got from one lady, this is a Pattaya beach. Uh, I guess that's the most busiest beach. So tomorrow morning probably I'm gonna have a better idea when I'm coming here. But I'm just wondering what is all those lights? Oh, that's a cruise or something? I think so. Yeah, guys, that's a cruise, I guess. You know, just like for one hour or two hours, you're taking those cruises here. Yeah, that's the one. That's where, that's why everybody coming back. Yeah, that's... But all of them with the tour, you see a lot of flags, you know, that these people, you know, following them. Look at those lights. Oh, man. I gotta take a picture of this. <laughs> yeah, this is a cruise that guys like everywhere. Like, like anywhere that uh, has a, you know, sea, like a lot of. Pattaya at night. Okay guys, enough of here. So let's go somewhere else because here is extremely crowded. So I think a lot of people are going to take these cruises. That's why they're going that way. Uh, well, if I stay a few more days, I'll definitely try because probably it's going to be good experience. But one thing that I really like about this Pattaya city, that sign is really nice, orange and white. City is white and the light under Pattaya is orange. And I don't know, for some reason, for the past few years, orange is my favorite color. Oh wow, that is nice, nice, nice. I like Pattaya so far. Amount of tourists that I see here, guys. I I didn't see this much tourists in Bangkok. So there's more people here, I guess, because of the beach and everything else. Too. Although you know Chinese people, they don't take sun, so they won't go to the beach. And even if they go to the beach, obviously they dress up top to bottom. Uh, I have to put the conditioning on because otherwise you cannot sleep and for the past few days I'm just sleeping under air conditioning and I hate this bloody concept here so the air conditioning is just directly on top of your head so I don't know why they're not putting it somewhere that not directly heading your bed and this is like some sort of standard things in Thailand. Like most of the hotels is just like this. 
and I got a little bit sick, so uh, the honest with you, like I had to turn it off middle of the night and then put it back because it's hot. So that makes you sick. So thanks God to this hotel in Pattaya is much much bigger. So hopefully I can put the air conditioning on and leave the door a little bit open. So because sometimes middle of the night it just gets really cold because it's just air conditioning is just hitting your head. So guys this is Pattaya Beach. I don't see any part of it that is just suits for swimming. But tomorrow probably I'm gonna figure it out more because daytime I'm gonna be to I'm gonna go to different beaches and I'm gonna film few different places but I believe I need few extra days here because in Pattaya there is a lot of spot that I can feel and I don't want to miss it because probably I'm not gonna come back anytime soon so I'd rather to get it done now Because my next destination after Thailand, guys, I'm going to Bali for two months. I want to experience Bali one more time. After that, I'm heading to Colombia, guys. I'm going for the salsa dancing. Okay, let's go back and let's see what else we can find. So far I didn't see any aggressive girls, you know, to jump on you and stuff like that. Probably there is another street that I don't know, but I'll find out soon. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Indian restaurant and Indian people here that they have their own club and uh, they have their own club and they have their own cafe and restaurants. A lot of them. I sell like more than 20 restaurants on my way here. There's just 20 on my way. Maybe there's 100 more here. Strippers here. So that's a proof of it. Right there, guys. So this is a Russian girls show. So apparently all girls there are Russian many clubs here and so many bars here so like in case if you want to go and sit in one of them which one you're going to figure it out like which one is good seriously you need to do a lot of research look at it there's another one this is the one the big one
saw like more than 10 of them. Party is just getting full of girls, but there's nobody inside. It's just mostly girls, but no customers. I don't know. It's a little bit strange to go in because I believe they're very really aggressive to sell you a lot of drinks. I've never been there. I don't know. One time, there's a teeny tiny one in Kusamui, and I just walked in, and I was so drunk, and the guy was so aggressive. Now, actually, it was a girl. She was very aggressive. To sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Drink something, drink something. So I walked away. But that one is just a teeny tiny one in Kusamur. But I'm sure here is just totally different. It's much, much bigger and I believe they are more aggressive. Hello. Look at it. There's again Turkish kebab. Oh wow, you guys making it in pita too? Pita. Oh nice. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is Pattaya Beach Walk. I guess this is Pattaya Beach Walk. So, well, it's just one side is all the restaurants and the massages and stuff like that. And the other side is just the beach. People just chilling at the beach, relaxing. stay in a walking street late after this because it's just getting crowded now and some of those security guys they get aggressive when they see camera so I don't want to cause any issue so for that reason I'm here at the beach walk I'm just gonna chill here and relax and just walk a little bit and see what is going on so in here there's a lot of freelancers sitting on their bike and ready to go but it's just like I don't know man so I don't get it because that's very dangerous to take these girls anywhere because there's a lot of diseases a lot of disease here 
As you can see, there is a lot of Indian restaurants there. I'm gonna walk a little bit here and then I'm gonna go from this street up to see where I'm gonna end up. So this is a beach walk with all these freelancers. And this side is just all massage places. And all these girls are freelancers. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them and they are good looking. I don't know man. I don't know. I don't want to be judgmental because everybody's different, but it's just oh you can put yourself in that kind of situation. That's so crazy. Looks like Persian. I swear to God. Oh, guys, the amount of freelance that you see here is just mind blowing. Mind blowing. You just every corner there is 10, 20 of them. It's just a mind-blowing things here. Oh man, I feel sad. Seriously, because it is not easy to just come here every night and go home with different guys. I don't know, man. It is very strange. But what are you gonna do? That's the way they are. So you see, guys. There's a lot of restaurants here. A lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, jewelry stores. So definitely I'm gonna come tomorrow daytime to show you guys the difference on the next video, the difference between nightlife at the beach walk and the daytime, I'm sure it's not going to be crowded like this. Uh, but obviously, I don't know. I have to come back and see. But probably next video is going to be daytime. My hotel is in very very quiet area, extremely quiet. So compared to here it's just day and night. So even when I left, it was like nobody was there. But now here it's just like booming. Look at it. It's just everywhere is full of tourists and everything else. Oh there's a lot of restaurants and everything here. Believe it or not. Okay. Taco Bell. There is a uh, all kind of fast food restaurant, Burger Kings, and the girls are not aggressive whatsoever, you know. So very easy, but there's a lot of them every corner. So I don't want to put the camera on them. I don't want to piss them off. But there is like on. Um, on the beach side, it's just full, full of them. Just I want to be respectable and I don't want to, you know, put the camera on their face. That's why I'm filming all the businesses. But guys, it's just a lot of freelancers here, lots. Even this street is very long. Look at it, there's a pizza company, McDonald's. Guys, this is the beach. I 
But one thing that I think this town won't sleep, like probably everywhere is open here until like four or five o'clock in the morning. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of cafe, a lot of bars. Like you name it here. And all these streets you see guys, it's just like million hotels and, and, and the restaurants again. Like it is a big area, extremely big. And then the massage place. I'm sure these two buildings are hotels. And this is a really big massage place. Look at it, it, it is too slow. It looks really nice. Probably tomorrow daytime when I'm coming here, I'm gonna go there. Because it looks really nice and clean. And I'm sure for those ones that follow me for a while, you know I'm a clean freak. Guys, another thing that I just noticed, so these freelancers, all of them is just not from Thailand. You can see a mix of even the foreigners. Like, I saw black girls even. It's just like so strange. I don't know what is the name of that hotel, but obviously in a good location. I'm not sure if, I'm sure there's a lot of loud bars around here, but again, depends. If you are on the top floor, you won't hear anything. These Indian guys, it's just 10 of them talking to one girl. Come on, don't be disrespectful, man. I don't know man, then I come here like I don't feel good in these kind of places. Oh wow, there is most of their customers are these Indian people. I saw another one, two men is negotiating with one girl. Oh guys, like seriously, I don't want to put my camera on them, but it just on the beach side obviously one side is a beach that I'm not filming I'm just filming the one that you know all the bars and restaurants there but the other side trust me guys it's just like full full full like million okay let's see this Pasha kebab and pizza there's a line up here why is it famous kebab kind of things what is it that is everybody is lining up here let's see what they have soup chicken kebab pita guys seriously this Turkish restaurant is very very busy but I'm sure it's a good one
Searching for a hotel since yesterday in Pattaya. This Wave Hotel it just pops up with really good review, really, really good review. But unfortunately, the price is not like out of my budget. But in case if you want to be at the beach, really, just like cross the streets, the beach, and 
this hotel has a really good review so usually I check the review everywhere from Google review Aguda review hotel.com booking.com so all of them it was good so in case if one day you come here and if your budget is around hundred dollars a night I guess that's perfect location for you I just saw it I didn't know even here so that the hotel guys is just really really far from all the activity so probably I'm gonna extend my stay for another three days then I'm gonna probably come somewhere around here because obviously my site is very boring but it's just so cheap to come here it just cost me with the bike roughly 40 baht 40 baht means how much uh, I don't know less than two dollars dollar 75 to come and dollar 75 to go but and the other thing is like I'm not gonna be in you know noisy places but let's see in case if I decide to stay here maybe I'll come around here Hilton Hotel here oh there's a lot of activities here guys so I'm showing you guys the night and also I'm gonna show you guys what is going on daytime because tomorrow I'm coming here too or somewhere around here oh there's a mall here I guess yeah H&M and everything Central Pattaya I guess that's a mall guys I guess that's a mall because I can see it is H&M and everything else so pretty much there is a small mall here here This is the difference between Thailand and seriously anywhere else in Southeast Asia. You won't see this. Like every part of Thailand you go, you see a lot of tourists. Obviously, like here it's even like hundred times more than Chiang Mai. And although a lot of people like Chiang Mai, but here it's just like it's just crazy guys here. It's just full of people. And the Bangkok was like that too, like I was there for two days, but it was just booming. So that's a difference, you know, like seriously here, Thailand doing really something good with tourists. That's why it's just people keep coming here. And that's the bottom line, you know. They see them wrapping Cambodia and stuff like that, nothing. Oh, that's a red light district. What is this? Guys. Look at it. a lot of girls sitting there. Red cat. Oh man. A lot of girls working at the bar and a lot of girls working in the other side. Yeah. But these guys, they don't want to pay anything, I guess, to the bar and anything. So they want to keep all the money. That's why they're doing it as a freelance. Uh, the other side, obviously, they have to pay a portion of their money to, to the bar or whatever. So I'm gonna walk here and see what is going on guys. Here is a red light district guys. It just looks like it. I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. This is a red light district I guess. I don't know. I'm assuming. This area is a red light district to be honest with you today is my red first day so I, I need to do a little bit of research but something funny happened uh, I asked the guy I said do you speak English he said yes I said to him 
one of those bike drivers. I said, okay, what is the name of this area? He said to me, Pattaya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seriously, I don't know where is the red light district, but oh, this is a huge mall here, guys. Big mall here. Everywhere is packed. It's just mind blowing. It is really mind blowing. That's so many people here. And the funny part is, everywhere is a donor kebab. Everywhere. Like so, you see this donor kebab every corner. a barbecue so this is a central mall I guess I'm assuming I guess this is a mall so probably I'm gonna come tomorrow daytime back to walking street because obviously some of those security guys just get a little bit annoying when they see people with camera on their hand I don't know and maybe that's true because a lot of these girls is maybe they don't want to be in the camera so I respect that so I don't want to go back anyway even I don't feel good like really like I feel I'm getting really sick I hope it's not something serious. Maybe I have to drink a lot of water. Uh, but I believe it's just related to the air conditioning because air conditioning was hitting my head for past three days. So I guess I have to uh, tonight make sure open up the uh, open up the balcony door. So make sure I don't get so much cold air because that's just killing me. Oh, this is another uh, red light district. So let's go walk. Guys, I'm not going to take my camera here. Just take a look at it from outside because probably they're going to get pests. So let's see the situation. If I can turn my camera on, I'll do it. But if it's not, so this is pretty much another bar, bar scene and, and the red light district. Like you just take, take the film, but it's just like a lot of bar. I guess most of them is the red light district because what happened was there's just a lot of girls, but there's not many customers pretty much. So I'm not sure it's, it's gonna get busy after this or not, but most of them doing nothing pretty much because I believe these girls, you know, supposed to make guys to drink to make money, but I don't see anybody to do that. I just saw a few, few, few old European men. That's it. There's nothing else. So I feel like I, I'm like I'm wondering like how these girls making money because there's ton of them everywhere. Ton of them at the beach. Ton of them at the bar. 
I don't know. And I don't see much customers. There's a lot of tourists. But I don't see them. I'm thinking at these bars and drinking. It's just a few here. I couldn't film, as I said. You know, just I don't want to be disrespectful. Because I know some of them are very sensitive. But... Yeah, so you see there is like everywhere, everywhere guys the bar. Like every corner. It's just like it is unbelievable. The amount of restaurants and and, and and the bar and everything that you see here is just a mind blowing. It's just mind blowing guys. It's just one of a kind. Look at 7 Eleven. Like I wanna grab a bother but even I was getting some fruits. Even it was a lineup for fruits, guys. So, yeah, I guess I need to rest today because I I don't feel it. Like I'm, I like I have so much soul trouble. Like I have so much headache. Look at those girls dancing. Look at them, how happy they are. because I don't feel good but let me see if I can get some fruits here okay excuse me excuse me how much is it 50 baht 50 baht uh, how much is it oh my oh my god that's lots do you have a smaller yeah. one okay well he's not answering me Let's find somewhere else. Oh okay, yeah, there's another restaurant and stuff like that. Oh, another uh, condo or something here. Oh, I love your wife. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Look at this guy. He lost his mind. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm just waiting for my battery to go down completely and then I'm gonna head home and have a lot of water and a little bit rest because I couldn't sleep last night again because of that blood air condition it was hitting my head all night I don't know why they do that in Thailand why air conditioning is just Point it to somebody's head. Let me go see if I can get some fruits here, guys. Fresh fruits. Okay, don't kill me, my friend. Wait. Oh, there's a lot of fruits here. 
Nasılsınız? İyiyiz abi. Siz nasılsınız? Allah'a şükür. <gülüyor> Nereden abi? Ben Asliyeten İranlıyım ama Kanada'da yaşıyorum. Türkçem de var biraz. Zaten iyi Türkçem var. Ciddi misiniz? Biz de Türkiye'liyiz zaten. Biliyorum. Ankara'lıyız. E, çok güzel. <gülüyor> meyve yiyoruz, meyve ikram edelim. Yok yok çok teşekkürler. Biraz hastayım da Erkan dişim burada var. Tayland'de, otellerde. Öyle yani adamın kafasına koymuşlar bu Erkan dişin. Bu klima mı klima, diyorsun? Klima. Tap adamın kafaya koyuldular burada otellerde. Ben anlamıyorum yani onu hiç anlamadım. Diye, diye. <gülüyor> soğutsun ama adamın başını soğutuyor. Yok yok teşekkürler abi. Adamın başını soğutuyor ya yani başka bir şey yok. Abi kapatıp yatıyorum ben kapatıyorum ben öyle yapıyorum. <gülüyor> Olmuyor yani çok sıcak geceler. Onun için biraz <gülüyor> hastayım da biraz çok teşekkürler. İyi geceler çok memnun oldum. İyi geceler. Oh, there's a lot of fruits, guys, here. It's just like lovely. Look at it. A lot of fruits. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Ah, look at this. There's a mix of everything. 